opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. e6 creates an opening for the dark squared bishop and opens a new diagonal for the queen. d4 offers to trade the more important central d4 pawn for the c5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nc6 challenges the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to kick a knight. It is excellent. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a miss. This is the way to win a pawn. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This wins a pawn. It is best. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This removes a knight that was threatening to win material. This is the only move that works. It is best. Capturing that knight wins material. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures from a previous move. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. It is best. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Takes back. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to prevent castling. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
recaptures. It is best. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the bishop. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.